Hello, this is the second video of this Sila Grand Piano, 5 foot 5 inches long, made in about 1908. And uh, we finished the restoration and reconditioning of the piano. So I just want to have a look at some of the aspects we've done. By the way, the casework, we were um, not commissioned to do that. That's going to be done by somebody else, apparently. Um, but looking at the keys, first of all, we can see these are ivory keys. We We've buffed them, so the, some of the yellowness has been taken out. And uh, on the previous video, which I shall link to this one, you'll notice that uh, there were some chips. And these three keys were so chipped, we had to replace the tops. So we've managed, we've got so many replacement ivories uh, where we can manage to get a reasonably good match of the grain. Uh, the grain varies on ivory, so these three here, I think it was, have been very done. And to get the line as good as possible for front to back, you can just see that that one's been replaced, this one hasn't. Although, really, it's not a huge difference, so thanks uh, very much to our technicians who've managed to achieve that. And there are some chips on some of these, which you also can't really see. Let's see if we can... There's one that's been repaired. I think you can see that has got a slightly different colour to it. And there's another one down here, I believe. Uh, which I can't detect. So thanks to the uh, team that has been doing that. The piano in general, uh, we've done various jobs to it. It uh, was in such a state really before in terms of being tuning and, and, and cleanliness and so on. But uh, we're really, I'm really pleased with the results that the team's managed to get. Uh, when assessing this piano, the major, a major factor is, was, as we said many times before, is how tight are the tuning pins. These are original ones. Uh, because uh, my medium star lever is very floppy on them. They did use nice small tuning pins uh, on high quality manufactured pianos and many, many pianos have small pins. So I think it's much better because if you want to replace the pin later on, you can go up several sizes. So that's really useful. Looking at the, we, we, we cleaned the piano in general. So we haven't replaced the strings because the tuning pins were tight. There was no need to. I did a massive pitch raise of about 20 beats and uh, the tuning pins are clearly tight. So just want to zero in here. Um, if you look at the previous video, you'll see that was all covered by dust. And Sila love to put the picture of their factory on pianos, even upright pianos behind the strings. You'll find this um, decal on their pianos. Sila's taking so much trouble designing it. Let's have a good look at it. It's, uh, it's rather pretty, I think, and uh, there's the place of manufacture, the, the medals that they've won. Such a high quality firm, really. In fact, at the serial number there, we couldn't see before. Um, that's the first time we've managed to reveal it. So we saw that on the um, on, on the the key blocks, but uh, there it is on the inside of the piano too. Uh, that confirms that. So 1908, I think we decided it was, though. It's still slightly dirty, obviously, unless we restring the piano. We're not going to be able to get rid of all the dirt there, but um, if you look at the previous video, you'll see um, that the team's managed to achieve uh, an awful lot there. And just want to lift the pedal. Up. I noticed that the, we're going to have to just do some fine work. The pedal's not quite lifting the dampers as high as I would like it to. Mainly here, they need to clear a bit better. So uh, that's an easy job to do. So just some fine work still to do. Now the pitch raise and tuning and uh, refacing and voicing the hammers and working on the action to get the weight right has really made this a wonderful instrument, which it was originally of course, so we haven't made it that, we're just trying to restore it back. And they've lost a bit of their, the zing round here, a bit of the clarity, but really that's probably up to about certainly 85% I would think of the original tone in those. Uh, so that's very encouraging and none of them are broken sometimes uh, we're worried when as I said on the previous video when they're really rich and warm that that means the string can be quite close to its breaking point so but we haven't broken any of them which is very encouraging so it has a full set of strings we'll just have a look at the hammers now to see uh, the refacing and one of the work we had to do is replace a lot of um, felts on the action. These felts were slightly eaten, I think, in the base end, but we've managed to get them, I think, you can see right down the bottom there. Um, so obviously, if you restrung, you'd replace those, but um, it's not too bad. Now, these felts were really moth-eaten, so they've, they've all been replaced. Um, 
so and then they how to get the right key dip so uh, it's quite a lot of work to make sure we get the right thickness and uh, measure them correctly this wasn't showing much on the other video but we had to replace all of these uh, this um, key rail here I had to replace all of that um, so the felt right the way across has been replaced and other felts too uh, so it's quite a lot of work and then we've refaced the hammers and voiced them so there's a huge amount of hammer left the hand, piano hasn't had a huge amount of wear which is encouraging and uh, the nice soft there as mentioned before gets harder as you go to the top and I think the tone of the piano is very similar to what it would have been originally this second jack from the end was, is a replacement it was broken off completely so uh, the team had to make a new one up a sile is such a well-designed piano I just want to show you something I've never seen on any piano there's a little lip here um, if you can see it um, and as I slot this in this actually slots inside that lip as well as having its own um, this this all also is here to, to obviously hold the hold it in place too so that that's really beautifully designed if you can see there um, and the other thing we mentioned on the previous videos is that it's sort of like chamfered here uh, if you can see uh, I, that may be for extra leg room I'm not sure it certainly is thoughtful and you can tell in many many ways if you're a technician you probably can back me up on this that Sila a very thoughtful firm about the way they make their pianos uh, last of all just to say that the the key weight is even it's about 44 grams though which is quite low uh, say 48 52 is the normal range that we're operating in so this is lighter if we'd have changed the hammers we'd have reweighted the whole keyboard we can actually reweight it now but that's nearly even they see that one's going down a bit faster that's a bit slower um, but uh, generally about 44 grams it gets lighter towards the top as we can see uh, this is done with the right hand pedal depressed by the way if you measure this at all you can measure these with coins if you find the measurement of coins see what they are if you want to try it on your own piano um, but uh, let's see so let's say it's 44 maybe 43 grams which is say 50 48 52 is normal so you definitely feel this is a lighter action so that's uh an after video of when we've worked on Silo Grand Piano. It's always a pleasure to work on high quality pianos. And I think the results are as I would have hoped they would be. The touch is quite light but very easy. As I say, if we replaced the hammers then we would set the hat touch a bit heavier but if you're an occasional player this is ideal and I think should suit the client very well if you're studying very seriously then you perhaps would want a heavier touch though strangely enough some some performers love to have a light touch on their own home piano so if you're going to practice for a concert then you need to switch to a heavy action very fruity sound the piano was very dirty and very it seemed to not been played for so long because with the pitch being so low I would have thought it's been in store or just neglected for a very long time so it's wonderful to be able to to discover what the potential of the piano is now because the tuning pins were tight we didn't need to replace the strings or the tuning pins of course we could have done all of that but it's a much more expensive job and um, I think this is uh, restored it to say like 85% of his attention of his potential Thank you very much for listening.